Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Switzerland enforces new quotas for EU workers The EU causes more unrest and infighting than it solves EU members losing faith in solar duty plan The European Union recommends testing of US wheat after Japan finds GM grains and blocks imports Plus, EU IMF praise Greek protest battling debt. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First from our homepage. Quotas on the number of EU citizens working in Switzerland have come into effect for one year. Switzerland, which is not an EU member, says immigration has reached unacceptable levels, with foreigners making up a quarter of the population. The Swiss have made a series of deals with the EU on the free movement of people in return for access to European markets. The European Commission has warned that the quotas could jeopardize relations. The Euro Bureau kleptocrats don't like it up them, but there is nothing they can do. Switzerland is not a member of the EU. Its parliament and nation is still sovereign. And well, frankly, if the EU doesn't like it, then they can just go and whistle. The European Union is no longer fit for purpose. Like Michael Gove and Philip Hammond, if there were a referendum held tomorrow, I would vote to leave. But it isn't up to me or our more free-thinking cabinet ministers and nor should it be. The British people deserve a referendum on our continued relationship with Brussels and the way politics is going on this issue, we should get one. In the meantime, we need a proper debate about how Britain and the EU interacts. This is why, along with 500 other business leaders, I put my name to the Business for Britain campaign for a national drive to renegotiate the terms of Britain's membership of the EU. I just came from a business meeting earlier this morning where I discussed the issues surrounding the EU and the overwhelming message was we don't have the information to make an informed decision and we don't get appropriate or balanced media coverage. Here at the unit we are doing our level best to get around to public offence and distribute as much information as possible but as ever we need your help to spread the word and so please do let your friends and families know about the unit.com. Chinese solar companies will have to prepare for heavy duties imposed by the European Commission. Although the plan has lost the support of an overwhelming majority of EU members, industry insiders said, a total of 18 EU members including Belgium, Germany and the United Kingdom opposed to the commission's plan to improve hefty tariffs on solar products imported from China in a vote conducted last Friday. France, Italy and Portugal and Lithuania backed the decision and another five countries abstained, China's 21st century business herald reported on Friday. Now, the Ministry of Commerce was unable to confirm the report on Friday, saying that the commission has no obligation to report the result of the vote to the Chinese government at this stage. Now, Shang Chu, CEO of Canadian Solar, a Nasdaq-listed solar company in Jiangsu province, said that the result was definitely positive and increases the momentum of our campaign against trade protectionism. But it is hard to say if it will affect the preliminary decision of the EU Trade Commissioner on June 6th. However, it will add pressure on the commissioner to negotiate with China and therefore affect the final ruling in December, he added. So, here we are again with another example of the EU gulag doing as it pleases. The unelected commission implements the proposal, the members vote against it in the parliament, and the commission ignores them and carries on regardless. Huh, sheesh, very democratic behavior. The European Union is urging its 27 member states to test certain wheat shipments from the United States after unauthorized genetically modified grains were found on a US farm, officials said Friday. The move came after Japan halted imports on Thursday of some types of wheat from the US following the discovery of an experimental strain that was tested by Monsanto but was never approved. This is very scary stuff altogether. 
I'm reminded of the terrible disaster that was DDT, the insecticide developed and deployed in the 1950s, which over the following decade poisoned the whole food chain and devastated the ecological environment. I have never been convinced that the security of GM as a science in general, and unlike the DDT, if GM strains cross-pollinate into the natural environment, that will be completely irreversible. Greece on Friday received a vote of confidence from the international creditors over progress in overhauling its stricken economy and a fresh injection of cash from the International Monetary Fund. In Washington, the IMF announced it had released 1.7 billion euros in fresh funds after Greece passed a third performance review, part of the terms of the joint IMF-EU bailout. IMF chief Christine Lagarde praised Greek efforts to meet their commitments. <laughs> this is crazy. It's like the kangaroo court praising the executioner. The Greek people are pig sick. Their situation is dire and the kleptocrats sponge more vinegar onto the septic boils of their crippled economy and the IMF cronies hail good job. It beggars belief. Today in our video library, just as Dr. Eric Edmund explained to us last year, there is now blood on the streets. This video short from Russia Today highlights the extent of the violence and the paramilitary SWAT-style approach to protester suppression. The use of tear gas and pepper spray in excessive quantities. This looks like the beginning of the revolution, folks, so you better get prepared. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>